All right, lads, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 and the Kaiser Redux mod as era. I'm just I'm keeping it as era because I don't want to have to put Irish Public Controls Republic in the title. It just takes up a bit too much space. We are back with the Revolutionary Workers Party as well as James Carlton and Popular Redism. I apologize for not getting a video out for a few days. I have been busy, but we are back. Now, one, th uh, one change that I need to make is actually changing the name of this. This is not a 182.9 millimeter gun. This is a 140 millimeter gun. Uh, much more reasonable. We started with the, uh, the, oh God, what was the six, was it the 16 pounder gun? Let me have a look. It was the 18, I think it was the 18 pounder. Yeah, yes, we started with the 18 pounder gun, 84 millimeter standard British World War One gun. Then we moved up to our, um, breech loading 114 millimeter gun. And, uh, I accidentally jumped the gun here to a 182.9 millimeter gun, which is the... Uh, is it this one? Let me make sure I get this right. Is I actually accidentally jumped the gun up to a 7.2 inch howitzer when I should have gone with the uh, breech loading 5.5 inch gun, which is 140 millimeters. After that, we, we could probably maybe go to the 6 inch gun, which is 152 millimeter. That's a World War One British heavy gun, but uh, no, for now 140 millimeter suits us perfectly. And the rest is off. Oh, I guess I should actually uh, name this mechanized too, shouldn't I? I should. I never na named the mechanized one, unfortunately. I'll call this the. Uh, this is. This is the oh, Gorman. That's who we're using to make it. That's perfect. And we'll call this the, uh, the NC2 after Nora Connolly, our chief of staff, because the tanks are named after Liam Archer, our, our chief of army. So we will call this. Unfortunately, closed there once uh, when I went into the political tab or oh, Gorman NC2. Perfect. Close that up. Now, last episode, we made absolutely fantastic gains right at the end of the episode. I am extremely happy with those gains. Uh, what do we. 42? Yeah, we'll get the uh, support companies. Let's uh, continue to preserve our manpower, which we have been fantastic at so far. How many casualties? Only 10,000 casualties so far. Even though if you went in here, it says 30,000 men. That means we're saving two thirds of our casualties. How many? How many losses here? None. Well, we, we haven't even come. We haven't come under a single attack here uh, in the Ruby Isle. But you know, we keep them there just in case. You know, you never know. 140,000 men is not too large of a force. We actually have a larger force abroad. 195,000 men. And you, you can see just how much bigger these divisions are. 20 divisions, 140,000 men in Ireland, and 9 divisions, 195,000 men on the continent. Now, yes, so we we participated in a uh, small offensive here. And, oh God, we've made such gains. We participated in a small offensive around Dijon, I believe. Then we pushed, we retook Troy. After that, we went over to Italy, broke through in the mountains, finally wrapped that up for them. And then, oh, there's a naval invasion in Rome. And then after that... We uh, we came up here and we launched a, an incredibly successful attack. We've completely split the Rams packed forces here. Uh, the Belgians are cut off from the Germans. We've trapped probably a mm, few hundred thousand troops if we're lucky. Not, there's not a whole lot of divisions here. Definitely at least a hundred thousand, hopefully. God willing. Um, and now we actually have a bit of a choice here to make. Their Germany's western uh, northwestern front is considerably undermanned. We would have to cross a river to get to it, but I wonder if now would be a good time to actually launch an attack across the river. We can attack this from three different directions. Maybe, because after that Germany is still perched up behind a river with land forts. Maybe we could break through here or something like that? Possibly. Might try that. Yeah, I, I do want to wrap this up as quickly as possible. So we'll wait for our international allies to arrive into this uh, arrive into this salient and once they have we will regroup to the west and crush this pocket oh yep they're on their way that's good I'm fairly confident in leaving the, uh, the eastern flank. So we'll perch up here. 
Except all these non-aggro packs. Yes, we uh, entered the war against Brazil. That's not too big of a threat to us, so that's fine. Now, let's get our four tank divisions here and our three tank divisions here to assist on the attack on this tile. Perfect. Oh, we're ready for a nice attack on Brussels. Not Pop King of Hungary, nice. Strong Romanian borders. Ooh, Poles launching an attack, maybe getting attacked, not too sure. Germany isn't looking very strong in the east. They have lost a, a lot of territory. Not too much, though. They are very much still in the fight. Casualty 7 million for us, and 1.6 million for the Entente, 4.5 million for the Reichsback. Only 4.26 million, actually, of that 7 million is ours, so that's good. Core Prosperity Sphere, Polish Intermarium, 2 million casualties. Whew. That is rough. You can close up all of this, being realistic, and uh, keep open the Ramspax and Entente, as well as our own. Now. Yes, sir. We should be able to attack Brussels from three separate directions. Yeah, okay, now we can actually see here we got six divisions here, another six divisions here, nine divisions, five divisions, five divisions, three divisions, maybe another three or so divisions here. Okay, so it could be maybe 200,000 men. Let's keep an eye on the casualties. Rights back 4.51 million. Let's see what it is by the time we've all this wrapped up. Let me quickly check the recording. All appears to be well. Fantastic. Big moves, from, big moves in Brussels. I think I'll actually pop the uh, battle plan. After this, I don't think there's going to be much able to oppose us. Fall of Beijing. There. Everyone want to attack. I want to attack right there. Fantastic. Come up here, don't want to be solely attacking across a river. Thunder's Wallonia is gone. Okay, they had 4.51 million casualties. Of course, there has been attacking on other fronts so but it is it should be mainly ours oh my god about three hundred and fifty thousand men fantastic absolutely fantastic glorious germans at almost 30 percent capitulation 2.25 million casualties we're actually not on the casualty map yet for them so for two thousand losses in that attack flanders wallonia 56 000 belgians met their end at our hands the Finns, riga 1100 regans Anything else? Lithuanians, 18,600 Lithuanians. Deutsche Ostasian, Morocco, 1,200 Moroccans. Liberia, Hawaii, Deutsche Middle Africa, Kenya, Uganda, 12, uh, 13,000 Kenyan Ugandans. 18,700 Congo of Reistat. Uh, Freist, uh, Freistat, ooh, 7,100 7, 7, Malagasy, Nigerians, 4,100. Maltese, Spanish Republic, 13,700 Spanish. Not bad at all. A very, very favorable exchange rate. I don't think we've contributed anything over here. No, not yet. Actually, speaking of over here, I, uh, I, I, I do want to crush this pocket because it's, uh, it's, it's well, not pocket sailing because it's extremely glaring. But uh, I have done quite a bit of playtesting in this series, and I would like to get some points on the Swiss. Logistics 3, fantastic. That is essential to get maintenance 3. Let's keep up our our maintenance so that... Let me see, what do we have? We're on onwards. 10% uh, bonus currently, I think. Reliability bonus, 10%. Yeah, and our, our current tanks are like 80-something percent reliable. 83.3% so we're actually getting 93% which is fantastic fantastic indeed 
but we're not making a whole pile of tanks, are we? 125, the, the, the stockpile has definitely increased from last episode, early in last episode. Just like slash, maybe. For example, how many of these new tanks have arrived? 260 only. Only enough to equip uh, one division out of nine. I can actually cite more than one division. Oh yeah, I don't have the uh, next brigade yet. Okay, fair enough. But yeah, I think I will slash production in other sectors. I think I might completely slash trains, to be entirely honest. 71 is plenty, and we're not exactly losing a whole lot of them. So slash that, and that's that gives us three factories freed up for tank production. Glorious Russia, keep that chromium coming. Ready. Now get over here quickly. Fortify the Shannon, fantastic. I don't think that's particularly necessary, but it's good to uh, be prepared. Twenty-five little power, one land fort in Ulid, a uh, three in Leinster, Munster, and uh, four in Connacht. One of Ireland's key natural landmarks is the River Shannon, dividing the east and west of Ireland. Our military has proposed fortifying both sides of the river so that we can hold the line along the Shannon in the event of an enemy invasion. Fantastic. Keep going with this. I'll uh, read this now, actually. Now, on Bala Aranuk, I think, is that, is that Fortress Ireland? It might, be, it might be, I'm not, not familiar with Bala. Uh, Ulster gets four land forts and Leinster gets five. Our next proposal for the defence of Ireland is to build a wall of coastal defences along Ireland's eastern shore where a naval invasion is most likely to take place. That reminds me actually of a, uh, of a Bacoan video where Germany built like a massive amount of ports along the along the French coast, like the uh, the West Wall, and then they did a focus that gave them a land fort, that gave them coastal forts on all the ports they had, and of course because they'd built so many ports they got a massive amount of coastal forts. Very nice strategy. CSA, maybe maybe a CSA victory, definitely either CSA or PSA. Well, obviously we prefer that to the Patod victory. Yeah, the Swedes are gone, how is the, yeah, Rams Pact isn't looking too hot at all. Very little gains being made over here, though, I feel, by the uh, Brotherhood of Eurasia. Max Supply Division 328, what? Our last artillery upgrade, fantastic. Come over here, continue with this, get the better engineers. Actually, I think we can start assigning some traits to our military industrial companies. Yes, we can. We can select a policy. Lovely. We've completely finished armor. Fantastic, though. There, are, there is still a few more armor upgrades to come. Ruthless contracts. 10% funds again. I think I'm okay, because th th like th that's kind of like uh, like an XP game perk in Fallout. It's kind of useless. It's, it's, it's Well, it's not useless, but it's not great, great to take it as a perk. Because all you have to do is just get more experience rather than taking a perk that gives you more experience. It's just a waste of a, a perk slot. Assembly line optimizers. 5% cap and gain. That's nice. Vertical integration minus 10% resource need plus 10% resource penalty. That's weird. Mechanical genius. 10% reliability. Can't go wrong, especially with something as uh, expensive as these tanks. Uh, experimental development teams. No, I'm okay. Industrial resource, uh, industrial self sufficiency. Minus 10% production resource need and plus 10% research bonus. That's actually quite nice, uh, especially in terms of economies of scale. The more factories you get, the better that is. Armor welding specialist, 5% armor casting specialist, 2% hardness, heavy gantry cranes. That doesn't apply to anything. Factory applied camouflage, 2% defense and breakthrough. Curtain corners, no, won't be going for that. Ah, da, da, da. This is actually, would this, currently we're using 52, 32, 11. Let's, 52, 32, 11, all right, let's assign this, see if it makes a difference, 52, 32, 11. Ah, maybe not. Either way, I think I'm gonna go over that just as well, you know. We are an island, we are an island nation, so getting uh, resources could become a problem in the future, though at the, currently it's running extremely well. I don't know where the enemy ships are, but they aren't particularly interdicting our trade. Now let's talk about our other designers. Yes, yeah, naval and air designers going completely unused in this series. Uh, John Rigby and Company, support equipment designer. 
that is, as well as an infantry equipment designer, yeah, that's our main infantry equipment as well, I believe. Am I right about that? I am. Now level six, perfect. What do we get for you? It's probably mostly the same, maybe something, no, it's actually far less, wow. Industrial self-sufficiency, yeah, we'll, we'll go with this. Try and get more civilian factories if we can. Uh, what else do we have? James Mackey and Sons, we need to get this to level six. Okay, that's fine. And O'Gorman is a good bit away. Now we are fairly ready here, so I'm going to attack right here so we can get some points with the Swiss. Is that the end of the Swiss? No, it's not. Okay. Swiss gone, fantastic, and we actually we can actually do things with the Swiss. That's the only bad thing about player-led peace conferences is that if you don't have any war score in the country, you can do absolutely nothing in the peace deal. So, to uh, I mean, I was about to say to the French, to the Italians, to Sino, of course. Nice small amount of resources there for the Italians and the rest, just to the French. I mean, who else realistically are we going to give them? Uh, going to give this as a puppet too. So, friends, congratulations. You already have Romandy and Hot Savoy and Savoy and all that, so there's nothing... Uh, hopefully you, you release them instead of annexing them. It would be kind of awkward if you annex them. The borders would look a bit odd. Though, to be fair, it would actually be following the whole uh, France all the way to the Rhine thing if they annex the Swiss. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, may maybe give the, yeah, maybe give this to uh, the... Oh, no, that's actually... Never mind. I was thinking of a different game where... Uh... Thing was the thing I, yeah, I'm thinking one of my test runs were Austria it was an Italian puppet, so no, that's fine. Okay, the, yeah, this this hasn't resulted in any big gap in the line though. 81%, that should be fixed soon enough. Yes, now, where next? Attack from three provinces, or even four provinces here actually. Yes, uh, the one of them is across a river, but that seems good enough to me. Seems like a good province to attack next. Ooh, uh, do they still have that bulge? Okay, I'll, I'll take care of that one next. Actually, I'll take care of that one first, because I intend for my tanks to be in the south for quite a while. Yeah, Germans have reinforces them. No, 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 not too, not too stiffly there. We will rush over here and pinch off this salient. More French territory will be liberated. to stop attacking, just because I don't want to have to share a combat with. Oh, the Kuban commander. We've uh, fought a couple of them on the western front here. Albania's gone. Oh, the Deutsche Middle Africa. That's not good. Eastern Iberia. You can hold that off, friends. Ooh. This could be kind of dangerous. Might be heading down south to, yeah, the French have... Actually, they got 11 divisions right here on Cadiz for some reason. Yeah, the rest of Iberia could use a bit, though. Are they actually breaking through? I kind of wanted this to be my victory. <laughs> I wanted this. It seems like an incredibly easy area to break through. So, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll participate just by uh, expanding the combat with and such. Yeah, okay, we got one of our divisions in at least. There we are. Lovely. Now, yeah, keep going with the radar, actually. That's fantastic. That's pretty much everything I want to do there. Verdun is actually under attack. You can actually attack from... Th oh, I didn't realize you could attack from there as well. Very interesting. But, uh, yeah, I think we've got maybe an adventure in... in Iberia to deal with. So, let's get down here.
would want thing, things to go alright at the last moment here. Perfect, that's that pinched off. And that's everything pinched off, lovely. We contribute much, I think it was uh, Deutsch, was it Deutsch Middle Africa? I think it was Greece as well, was it not? Greece, are you in the... You're in the Entente, I see, okay. So, Entente, uh, what are we contributing here towards the Entente? Very little, I would imagine. Maybe just getting our first casualties there. Of course, we can't see everything. That, not even ranking on the leaderboards here. Against the Entente, though, that will change in time. Unfortunate. Alright, ooh, uh... Kingdom of Portugal, oh yeah, I imagine yeah, they've retreated to their colonies, that's fine. We actually got another military factory. I would put that into... Infantry equipment, actually. All right, is our trade being interdicted? It appears it is. What about the British? Okay, the British are solid again. Uh, trade with the Philippines. Philippines are solid. There we are. That's that wrapped up. Now, for done retaking, oh, that's huge. That's huge. Massive morale boost, that. There is still uh, pre war um, French territory that's occupied. Literally one tile left is all. And of course, we have taken out Belgium. Of course, there is, uh, you know, Nanzig and Elsass Lothringen and all that that France also wants, but we've actually taken this uh, territory already. That's fantastic. Okay, so I reckon it's. Over to Switzerland again, Mulhausen. Yeah, this is where we want to attack. Fantastic! That that's that's that finished. Anti-air batteries, love those. Uh, well, uh, each province gets uh, one anti-air, despite the grave that the British Air Force post Ireland have even thought to build any defences against them in the event of a declaration of war. This must change and quickly. Yes, we're speaking about the Canadians there, of course. That's fine, is that? No, no, never mind, never mind. Now, oh, yes, over here. Wish we'd been the ones to break through there because we're not going to make it in time to exploit that properly. That's a mountain tile, and that's a that's also a mountain tile, never mind. Steel becoming an issue, that's fine. Japanese, yeah, there we are. Ready. Attacking here would qualify as attacking across a mountain, or attacking across a river, rather. Mets, ooh, they're extru- You're across the river! That's fantastic, why didn't you say so? That's huge! Get across here immediately! Get over here immediately, rather. Hurry up about it, too. It's fantastic. We've got three provinces to attack into. Four, even. But it's all, all only from one direction, unfortunately. This one seems extremely weak right here, so that's an obvious choice. Bust through that. Should be doing that with ease. Oh, we even have air superiority. Thank God. 
Oh, that's basically sort of the fall of this tile anyway. In fact, uh, first core will actually go with you as well. I'm gonna try and expand this. Ooh, race down here maybe. Would have to cross a river to do it. I think I want to. Big moves being made. Big moves. Crazy. So stupid. Bro, we just get to take this. That's insane. The German collapse is well and truly upon us. Oh, that's it, bros. It's oh, it's so over. It's insane. Another level of land doctrine, camp grupper. Reich's back casualty, six and a half million. Fucking hell. Alright, keep your eye on that number. Try and remember that, because I'll probably forget it. Just get to come down here, that's insane. Oh, naval invasion in Ireland! Where are they targeting? Connacht, okay. Well, we've got plenty there to meet them. 42,000 many... many. 42,000 men ready and waiting. Oh, this is such... Oh, that's a nice encirclement right there. That, that's a fucking Kiev 1941 disaster encirclement. That is horrendous. You keep an eye on that. Six. Oh, it's 40,000 casualties already. That is vile. Where are my men? I actually can't. It's difficult to see with everything. So you get rid of everything there as well. Attack with the one division. Let's get the uh, get the French across the river. That's the main thing. Frankfurt. Oh, huge gains. It's insane. Now, oh, look, how, look how quick they're wrapping up this uh, this encirclement. Polish uh, Polish into Maryland, actually pushed quite a way west. Oh, they're pushing north into Königsberg. That's good. Yes, Anti-air batteries. Lovely. I love the speed the game is running at. Now, Terramen, the Citadel Project. While we have focused on fortifying the coasts and the rivers, the cities themselves have remained somewhat unprotected. We have come up with a plan known as the Citadel Project, the first stage of the project would be to erect land forts in our major cities, protecting them from assault. So, Ulstersat for Belfast, uh, Lagan, that's for Dublin, and on Mumvan, that is for Cork. Lovely, and 30 political power. Lovely. Ready. Come on, get over here. Oh, an attack right there. Oh, the evil invasion is actually happening. Is that Liberia? God help you, man. God help you. <laughs> 
Africans being thrown into the slaughter. And look at that, we are... Oh, man. There's another one up there? Man. Nanzig. Heavily fortified, heavily manned. Makes no difference. Field Hospital 3s, fantastic. Those are essential. Get Recon Company 3s. Signal 3s. Ah, we're only getting two divisions in here. Reinforce me? Yeah. Well, actually, no. Just stand and break through. Can you attack here? You can, that's fantastic. Can you go here, and these three also attack here. Oh no, folks, it's over. It's over, I tell you. formed in Strasbourg. Oh, and look at that. Look how beautifully it just, it followed the Rhine. The poles didn't, well, apart from up here. The poles didn't cross. That's fantastic. Sweet mother, look at this encirclement. I do remember the figure of a six and a half million. One, two, we got three of our tank divisions in here. To be fair, we probably could actually get more. See, I hate, it when, I hate it when it messes up like that. You know? Did this fix it? No, that's stupid. I hate that. Oh, how many of them got wiped away there? Oh, man. Okay, from six and a half million. Oh. Almost 1.4 million men. Oh, man. <laughs> That's rough. That's rough for homeboy. <laughs> the collapse of the Reichs Pact, yeah. What else, what else is it ever going to be? It appears as unthinkable as a card today. German forces fighting a... Fighting in Europe... I finally collapsed under the weight of the invading armies with nowhere left to run. The Kaiser and his capital met and agreed that a complete surrender was imminent within days. The news has thrown their allies into complete disarray with the structure offered by the Reichs Pact Alliance completely evaporating. It is clear that the world order, which has existed since the end of the First Developed Krieg, is about to come to a fiery end. The Kaiserreich is about to fall. And these it is. Now let's get ground intercept control. 25% interception, interception mission efficiency. Over. over. Now the Ukrainian state will get the autonomous stat Don Caucasian, as well as the Combatant People's Republic. It's a nice gain there for the Ukrainians in southern Russia. The French, of course, will get all of the Spanish Republic. I think I don't think they have any. You have Guinea Equatorial. That's fine. Yeah, that's all fine. That can go to the French. Now let's talk about the East here, and to talk about the East is to talk about the Poles, or are they? Shouldn't be this far down, did I, did I skip them? Did I, miss, did I move past them? I did. Now, I'm going to see a big, big gains for Poland if it wasn't for them. We wouldn't have been able to break through on the Western Front, so they will get all of the Oder Nice line plus the uh, Northern Territories here. 
and they get to keep the east we're going to be seeing a very big poland for the czechs of course they will reclaim their last territories that the germans took back to full czechia back to full czechoslovakia now how to divide up the remaining Germans. God, Germany looks funny here with no Eastern territories, but they still have a big, big West. That is odd. I think we'll go for the Public Controllist Union of France. Obviously, we have to give them up to the Rhine. Obviously, we'll give them Belgium. Even though Belgium was kind of our victory. That's already a, a huge France right there. France to the Rhine. The Italians. See, see now, now, now this is kind of difficult. We're, we're trying to give ourselves... The British, the French, and the Italians a zone of occupation, which just isn't possible, I don't think, with these conditions. Though, to be fair, we could just make it ourselves the British and the Italians, because the French have already got the Rhine territories in that case. But but it, it'd be weird for us three to have an occupation zone, but not the French. I know, you know, the French have got a... Uh, you know, the French have new territories, but still, it'd be really odd for the, you know, administration of Germany to be left up to us three. Though, I guess you could say that this is the... French administered Germany. Maybe. That can be France's peace. Then the... Hmm. Or the Italians. The Italians get a... Southern puppet here. Southern administration. The British... Get a... Northern administration. I'm trying to divvy this up fairly. Then we get this kind of eastern portion right here. Yeah. That's cool with me. Make sure we don't accidentally end up taking some... Uh, oh, yes. The, the Russians... Get these territories right here. Some very important territories. Yaroslavl, Tver, Tikvin, Rezhev, Veliki Luki, Novgorod, Volkov, uh, Ostrov, Porchov, Pleskov, Pleskov uh, Yamburg, Luga, and St. Petersburg. Some very, very important territories right there. I think that's just leaving these territories. Perfect. Irish Republic controls Republic. I'm not going to take the fleet. That would be... Ooh, I could take the I could take the smaller fleets. No, I won't. I won't. We'll, 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 I will do a, a naval Ireland game one time with the uh, new Kaiser Redux naval rework mods. Do like a big Ireland, big dockyard Ireland. Like basically do what we did in this game with like the with like the twenty divisions just to guard the, uh, just to guard the island and then just don't have any tanks, nothing like that. And just literally have a big navy and just be out on the, out on the uh, seven seas. The high seas, just uh, trying to win as many naval battles as we can. For which faction? I don't know. This can be the Irish administered Germany. It's not too bad. British creating their North German Union. Pop the fall of Germany, yes indeed. Today the unthinkable has occurred. German here forces finally fighting in Europe have finally collapsed. No, German Air Forces fighting Europe have finally collapsed under the weight of the invading armies. The realm couldn't continue the struggle, and so it appears the Kaiser, his cabinet, and a considerable number of state officials and key generals have embarked by sea to the African colony, still in the hands of the Germans. For now, the war in Europe is over, and the worldwide German Empire has been thrown into utter disarray at the end of an era. Goering, of course, is still here. I'm sure he'll get the fleet. That shouldn't be the fleet. The fleet's much larger than that. Unless they're only getting portions of it. Uh, Deutsche Ostasien is also still here, though. Maybe the fleet will be split up amongst the... Amongst them? Something like that. Congo of Reichstag get some? No. Deutsche West Africa? No, but yeah, the Germans still hold a significant colonial presence here. Might have to do something about that. No, Poland, don't start with this Prussian state nonsense. Gonna take the whole thing. The whole thing. And the French, yeah, the exact same. I don't want to see any uh any fucking Rhineland. I 
Let's do a mark all. No, no, because, uh, yeah, yeah, can't do it just a mark all states. Uh, obviously, you should have that as a core, yeah, that's good. Do I mark this one? Yeah. You release the Swiss, that's good. Or is it? Not too sure. All of that, please. South German Union, a puppet of the Italians, lovely. And the fate of Prussia, our own decision, lovely. Much of Prussia has been brought under our control as our troops occupy the region. We must now decide what to do with it. Release Prussia as a puppet. We have our own little Prussian public controllers republic under Karl Liebknecht. Turn north German lands. No, I'm not going to be returning to lands north of Germany. I will, however, be marking these as your core. And then transferring them over. Shame to you with Hamburg. I don't like the fact that Hamburg is uh, isn't a separate state or something like that. Now, oh, there we have it. Separate Prussia. French get their territory. Poles get their territory. Divided Germany. And even with this Germany unifies, it'll still be... Uh, it'll, or rather, it won't not still be. It'll be much smaller than our, our own timeline journey because they won't have any of this. Hmm. Foreign naval advisors. That sounds good to me. 50% cost reduction for naval doctrines. And hire foreign naval designers, yes please. Is there more of those sorts of decisions? No, that's not that. It's uh, naval development. That's just resource models. I don't care too much about that. Yeah, that is that. The, the Realms Pact is gone. What else is left? Riga, Finland, Lithuania, Brazil. Just the Entente now severely outnumbered. Let the French kind of make a couple of puppets. Maybe. Got the Iberian Federation. You have cores on it? No. We'll transfer that to you, though. Let's have a look. Very, very nice. Ooh, straight up to... I, th I think we need to... first thing we need to do is invade the... Uh, invade the... Dutch. Yes, I was about to say the Danes. Now I'm going to invade the Dutch instead. And then I might do something a bit finicky with the borders. I might give... Uh, Thoringen as well as Hanover to my puppet and then just give the, the Dutch as a puppet to the British as compensation. Maintenance 3, lovely. It's 43, let's get this infantry anti-tank 2. Our lovely land forts right there, fantastic. Let's get the Citadel Dublin of course. 50 political power, Leinster gets 3 anti-air, 2 radar station, 2 land forts, and 2 and 3 coastal forts. The second stage of the plan is to completely fortify Dublin with forts, anti-aircraft equipment, coastal forts, and radar. We must either choose to secure Dublin or Belfast, as we don't have the resource to fortify both. Belfast is, of course, our second city. We are a unified Ireland. Oh, we have a seasoned tank division. Isn't that fantastic? The second armor division. Pride of the Expeditionary Army. Now, let's get after the Dutch. I'll actually, mark them both of us. Mark all three of us, yeah, so I don't want to be calling us all in. Yes, there we are. Now, straight ahead. Lithuania is gone. That is good news for the Poles. 
Nice Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth seeming to form here. Big in the west, big in the east. Fantastic. We will give the French some territory just so that they can uh, continue to fill their France all the way to the Rhine concept. France's natural borders. Though to be fair, I would, I should, they should probably annex the Swiss as well for that. Eh, just to follow the Rhine here. Maybe, maybe not. And then we will give the rest to the Brit. Actually, no, we won't give the rest to the British. We will. West Indies Union first, yes. These territories. Yeah, those territories first of the West Indies Union, and then the rest of the British. Now, as soon as you release that puppet, congratulations, a free puppet given to you by me through my conquest of the country. You're going to release it? There we are. Fantastic. New British puppet. And in exchange, I get these two territories. Very nice. Maybe I could annex the Dutch into the Germans. Form a big North German Union. But yeah, yeah but then, then that sets a trend. Like, next thing you know, we'll be annexing, annexing the Swiss into the South Germans, the Austrians into the South Germans. So, and then ne next thing you know, Germany is big again. We don't want that. We want small Germany. Big Germany alert. Big Germany alert. So, yeah, not also. Um, mark all states of view and remove your cores on us. There we are. Now we should probably stop trading with the Japanese and start trading with this fantastic new puppet we have, who has a ton of steel. You also have chromium, that's fantastic. Don't suppose you have any tungsten. You do, great. Glorious. You probably don't have any oil though, do you? You do have a bit of oil, actually. Is perfect. That will significantly help our economy. Yep, yeah, through not spending as many factories on trade. Many other forces are there. Not too many left. Ah, sugar. No, France, you were going to take this, and you were going to be happy about it. Because you are Sorellians, you're not fucking, you know, radical public controllists or syndicalists. You are totalist Sorellians uh, under Dayat, so you were definitely doing France to the Rhine. That's some big French, French borders right there. Next... I think we'll do an invasion of the Danes. Might also give Denmark as a puppet to the British, just to sweeten the whole deal. You know, these were some significant territories here, Hanover as well as Thuringen, that the British gave up in exchange for the Dutch puppet. And of course, it's a small Dutch puppet too. That'd be fair. The, yeah, the yeah, the population definitely waiting on my definitely waiting on my side. So this will help sweeten the deal. Ready. Off we go to the Danish. Also help us establish a land link to the Swedes. Or uh, well, at least some sort of direct link to the Swedes and just rather than just naval. Uh, Riga. It might give the ter the Russians a bit of territory, actually. I'm not sure how much they were actually contributing, though. They're, they're near the top. Are they here at all? I didn't see them. think so. No, nope, the Russians are not here at all. That's fine. In that case, it all goes to the Poles. Kingdom of White Ruthenia is gone. Now, the Russians, yeah, the Russians definitely have 
land to... Oh, but I don't have any... Ah, sugar, I don't have any contribution. That's fine in that case. We'll have to split it up like, like so. Big gains for the Russians. Getting Smolensk back. Gains for the poles. I might actually take this off you. Nice. Still losing a couple of convoys, that's fine. Now, the invasion of Denmark, yes. Mark up. Don't have to call in anyone here except my own puppet. I call in the French or something like that just so they call in the rest of the faction. Make sure now that you get everything. Irish immigration, that's fine. Small increase, yes, the French one come in, that's great. Fantastic. And we will give this to the British. Except Greenland, maybe. Um, yep, um, yeah, they can have Greenland. Yeah, they can have Greenland. Makes sense. So they can get closer to the Canadians. Nice base of operations. And then we can come up here to the Swedes. Help them out as well. Kind of conquer the lowlands here. Unrestricted submarine warfare, wolf packs. Hmm, appears to be quite a few Anton troops here, doesn't there? Caribbean Sea. Hmm, it's fine. Ooh, there's a lot of Anton troops up here. Citadel Dublin, fantastic. Now mobilize the Irish Defence Corps. Mobilize a rapid response force in key locations around the nation. Now that we are at war, we must mobilize our reserve units in order to increase our ability to resist a naval invasion. Well, I think we only have to fight. We lost seven men. Good lord. A thousand Liberians slaughtered on the beaches. Come down here, grab the ports. Ooh, fantastic work. Keep on that didn't come, keep con up. Take that port of Bergen, that'll cut off a lot of them. Starting to hit their supply somewhat. Another level of land doctrine, modern blitzkrieg. April, so the weather shouldn't be too bad. French taking that territory for some reason. It's a long way until Tron time.
Ooh, big encirclement coming here. Yes, lovely. Let's check the... Uh, what's all that about? Who's, who's joining the war now? Not too sure. 4.43 million... Or 3.75. Remember that number, 3.75. See what it'll be by the time we have this all crushed. Signals 3, lovely. 3.75... 3.96, 200,000 men into the pocket. Oh, no, all right here. Oh, nice. Now, mobilizing the defense reserves, Era finds herself once again in a grave crisis. Our strategic planners foresaw that this a day would come. And now that we are at war, it's time to make good use of their foresight. The brave sons of Ireland await the command across the nation to take up arms and defend their country from foreign aggressors. Only call, call up only the infantry reserves, 9,000 manpower. I lose 9,000 manpower. A reserve infantry company of two divisions will be mobilized in Dublin Belfast. Okay, that's, okay, two divisions isn't a company. Two divisions is like a medium-sized corps. Or we have a half company will do. A half-strength fighting company of four... Divisions. Well, why are they using the word company here? It makes no sense. 18,000 men, 25 to the power. Or we need them all. A full fighting company of eight divisions will be mobilized throughout the, throughout the nation. Th minus 36,000 manpower, minus 50 political power. So we take 36,000 manpower, and through the magic of Irish mathematics, we get 72,000 men. Isn't that fantastic? And we can just disband them right away. It's like a free 30 something thousand men. Lovely. That's a great portrait. Now, what else is there left to get, really? It's just the last few focuses here. Yeah, armor advances. 200% research bonuses for armor technology. Tanks are key to mobile warfare, forming the spearhead of an encirclement of the enemy. We must research tanks for our mobility tactics are to be successful. Recon Company 3, lovely. Keep coming down here, get better oil. Not better oil technology, rather. Ooh, we're actually... Approaching Tron time, that's fantastic. Fantastic, we got a full core up here. Fall of Algiers! Oh, bro, the French have landed. Oh, oh, it's so over. It's so over for the Anton. Look how fast they're moving. Sardinia capitulated once again. It is ridiculously over. I'm gonna stay up here though and wrap up Europe first. We get an uh, air support here? No, unfortunately not. Come on, baby, cut him off. Ah, we couldn't. Oh, we took Tron Dime anyway. Great work. Great work. Fantastic. That's a lot of Norwegian troops hacking. Man. That's a lot of troops. We dug in too. To be fair, we probably could if we just punched through in the center. Not if I want to, though. That seems kind of expensive in terms of manpower. Oh, big, big Poland. Huge Poland. That is a hefty boy. That's about as big as you can really get Poland before you start going into the whole... Uh, either Zapataslavia or Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth or a combination of the two. That's about as big as it gets. Yes, indeed. Now, I mean, yeah, should we come down here and help them here? I don't like the idea of crossing, though. Yeah, they got Greek submarines intercepting. 
might stay up here in Norway. Safe up here in Norway. Yeah, there's even flat terrain right here. Well, uh, relatively flat. Security has another port for ourselves. We're doing very well. Ooh, another naval invasion there, and that was quickly sawn off. So, oh, French National State Troops. Almost 1,500 of them. Lovely. Well, what did they uh, attack with? What, what, what's this other here? Some tractors, some tanks, maybe. Rough. Ready. That is rough. Ooh, moving swiftly. Take this one division front here, grab this. This is very good. Now, motorizing the side door. If mobile warfare is to work, our regular infantry must be motorized so as to outrun the enemy. Otherwise, our spearheads will be left stranded and vulnerable to encirclement themselves. Two 100% research bonuses for truck and mechanized models. That'll be useful for mech three. Exhort heroism. Is that necessary? Uh, yeah, I don't really have too much else to spend it on. Sure, go ahead. We are pushing up through mountains here, gentlemen. Spurs Industry 5, another nice boost. More slots for us. Backhand blow. I keep going here with the rubber, get some more of that. Can't have too much of that. Another ins oh, another encirclement. Keep pushing. Alright, now we can call a halt to it. <laughs> Need to extend the front line. God, that was successful. Where's, where's Tron time? Oh my god, look at that push. That is an insane push through mountains with tanks. Yes. Thank God it's not the winter though. Yeah, let, let's try and have this all wrapped up by the winter, shall we? The Norwegians have got to be on their last legs. 86%, they've still got a bit of fight in them. 99% capitulation. Have we landed down here in the colonies? No. Maybe they got a collab government on them or something like that? A collab government. Oh, no. Uh, never mind. That, 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 they're not. These, this is the Portuguese, but yeah, we've landed up here as well. That's good. Quick geography lesson for you. The Norwegians aren't Portuguese. It's insane that we're getting supply over here. Bolivia's gone. Oh, another encirclement. Is it over? Not not yet. They're holding on in fairness to them. Now what else do we have? Naval industry focus, yes, we'll get this. Ulster gets a building slot and two naval bases, as well as a naval dockyard, as does Leinster. If Ireland is to construct a fleet of any particular relevance, then she will quickly need to start constructing new naval facilities. Investment into the naval industry of our nation will be a step in the right direction towards protecting the Irish Sea and our nation itself against foreign aggression. Lovely. Ooh. Excavation 5. Don't mind if I do. Can't 
can't believe they're still not out. 97%. They are really clinging on here. Anton Kasli's at 4.57 million. Almost 400,000 Norwegians. Have pity on your men. Ooh, now the 6th Armour Division is also seasoned. Fantastic. It'd be great to make all of these seasoned before the campaign is over. I'd be quite happy with that. They move so fast. These aren't even particularly fast tanks. It's like 6-something six, six kilometers. Is it? Is it 6-something kilometers, these tank divisions? Uh, yeah, 6 kilometers an hour. Or, but that is 50% faster than an infantry division, so... It does make a difference. Big on Tom Forrest, ready to get crushed. Quickly get up there. Oh, oh no, bros. It is over. Get them. Actually might not be able to get these guys because they're on an island. Just a bit outside of our scope of operations here. that might put some into this though great if we get a naval invasion I'm sure the Finns do have something of a fleece now nah, just nine submarines yeah streamlined line fantastic Going with a better radar. Yes, sir. Ready. All in. Attention. Oh, okay. Well, here they are. I was going to say what. Going here. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Modern engine, fantastic. Get the modern armor protection. industry focus let's get the cork submarine foundry it is the second deepest har deepest harbor in the world some of our naval theorists believe that the submarines might very well be the naval weapons of the future if we want to heed their advice and we'd better start uh, producing more of them by developing a specialized submarine foundry and testing facility in cork we can fo focus our naval production on the development of these predator undersea ships at cork submarine foundry a foundry which grants minus 10 percent submarine production cost lovely Let's get flak. Oh yeah, flak tower is nice. One hundred percent anti-aircraft construction speed. Yeah. Fins are actually doing a uh, last stand. That's hilarious. Rubber processing, fantastic. Keep going with that. Might actually be worth it to go up to uh, free trade. Yeah, I'm gonna go up to free trade. I'll hit our re no, I won't hit our resources because we have the Prussians. Oh man, that's just getting straight buffs to our industry then. Lovely. Ready. Yeah, see, here's where we want to focus. Get down here. Forget about this offensive line. Just get like the uh, conquer the population areas, the resource areas. That's where we want to go. You just do a nice thunder run along, nice thunder run along the coast. Hey, those are Irish convoys. Oh, thank God, our uh, who ships are these? 
Conquest of the Finns. Let's see what we got on the Finns. 68,000. Sounds good to me. So Nuke Tex? Yeah, I mean, Nukes would be very nice. Now, the Navy. On service, Kovlig. 25 political experience, 10% naval experience. Despite uh, being an island nation and neighboring to Britain, our navy only consists of a few destroyers mainly used for search and rescue of drowning fishermen. If we were to stand a chance against Britain's famous navy, we will need to expand. Fall of Bangkok. Oh, keep going along the coast. Modern armor protection, fantastic. Keep going for the modern chassis. With that, we should be able to begin begin producing advanced medium tanks. Let's have a look at these bad boys. Torsion bars, cast armor, diesel engines. Yeah, there's no advanced medium cannon. That's very annoying to me. There's no advanced medium cannon. Basic heavy cannon, improved heavy cannon, advanced heavy cannon. Why no, why no advanced medium cannon? It's very annoying. Because th th this, like, you know, what's effectively supposed to be a panther, right? Is go just going to have the exact same gun as the Panzer IV. You know, in, in effect. Because there's no advanced medium cannon. Let's get the improved medium cannon. We get the three-man turret, as always the advanced radio, get the heavy machine gun, additional machine guns, armor skirts, auto loader, fantastic, bit early for an auto loader, it's 43, dozer blade skip, get easy maintenance, get expanded fuel tanks, get extra ammunition storage, get sloped armor, now smoke launchers, I think we'll forego the smoke launchers to get the stabilizer and the wet ammunition storage. What look will we get here? Ooh, okay, this kind of looks like 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 the the German T thirty four prototype, the German copy of the T thirty four. Was it was it Henschel? Was it, or no? I think no. I think it was it was a man. It was man. Yeah, it was man who who made basically a German T thirty four, but that got uh, passed over in favor of the Panther. Yeah, we'll get this though. That looks like a nice evolution, kind of somewhat in comparison to this. Eh, not really. Looks like it sports around the same. It looks a bit thicker in fairness. So we'll have it look like this, and then for the model, we will guess. Is that the one we want? I think it is. No, that's the one we want. So see, you can kind of see all six, um, all six tank models right here. Or not all six tank models, all three tank models that we've used in the series. I'm actually going to take three screenshots of these right now, just to. Uh, might put that up as a community post just to show off the tanks that we used in this campaign. Very nice. So as you can see here, we started with this one, moved up to this one. Finally, if I finally have this one kind of going for a French 45mm. Maybe French 75mm followed by a British 94mm. Very nice. I'll have that be the look. Nice big old gun on it. Uh, I think, yeah, 108 army experience is an expensive boy. Get the GSR LA-3 Mark 1. I think that's right. Fantastic. 108 army experience. Damn if it's not expensive. And it's not even that much better as well than our than our current tank, to be to be entirely honest with you. It's uh, its defense is slightly higher. It's break... It's break yeah, that, that, that's the best thing about it. It's break there was massively higher. Because of the extra armor, the hardness, uh, what's its hardness? What does it say that? Hardness is, is the exact same. 
somehow even though it has more armor. What? I don't know. Um, soft attack is the exact same. Hard attack is the exact same because it's using the exact same gun because there's no advanced medium cannon, which is very annoying. And we, we can't use an, a, uh, an, an advanced heavy cannon because it has to, you'd have to go to a medium fixed superstructure, which would be like a, a tank destroyer or something like that. And I, I don't want to do that. I want a proper tank with a fucking rotating turret. <laughs> you know, it's 1943, old man. Um, what else? Uh, breakthrough defense air attack is zero. Obviously, fuel capacity that could be interesting. Probably less. No, no, probably more. No, no, exact same. Fuel usage though is up because it's a heavier vehicle using more armor, uh, better engine, that kind of stuff. Service manpower is two. Not sure if it says anything about that. No, exact same speed though. Reliability is slightly lower. Um, three percent over. That's not too bad. So we'll get this. Put that new bad boy into production. Lovely. Into the tundra, my boys. Excavation 5. Fantastic. Use the mechanized buff here, yeah. Fins can't be doing too well. 73,000 casualties on the fins. Another pocket made. Let us reach the sea. Now, Wolfhounds of the Irish Sea, yes indeed. 25 political power, 2 feet percent cost reductions for submarine operations doctrines. During the Valkyrie, despite being outclassed by the British Navy, the Germans used U-boats to great effect. Our first step should be to research submarine tactics that we can also replicate this success, yes indeed. It's a great thing having that extra fuel. Really allows you to do kind of blitzkrieg, kind of dash to the wire maneuvers like that. There go the fins. I don't think the Russians are in this. I don't believe they are. No, they're not. They're completely out of it. In that case, I think it's time that the uh, Swedish commune got a bit of love and attention. So they will get the entirety of Finland as a puppet. Or if they decide to court it. They can't. I don't think you, I don't think you can do anything Nordic or Scandinavian in this game. Apart from through the, the focus tree. Or in this mod, rather. Now we'll actually get straight up here. Knock this out. Are they still up here in that? In that? Nope. They got driven off of that island. Greece is gone. That's huge moves. Oh, completely cleaned up North Africa. Yeah, Brazil is... Utterly collapsing to the Argentinians. Gonna hang around until we finish this focus so that we can get that extra uh, extra cost reduction. Oh, is it over? You're gonna take care of it? That's perfect. Thank you. In that case, everyone come back to Helsingborg. Keep going with the rubber. French national. Why do we? Why do we get to capitulate? You is that? Oh, is that some sort of thing where if, if the French national state capitulates, um, like the Entente falls apart? Because we should. Because they weren't the Entente, we shouldn't be able to take that. Maybe maybe Canada decides. Okay, bros, it's fucking over. Forget, forget the forget Europe. We just gotta focus on the new world. Uh, yeah, I, I will give the Italians Corsica. That 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 can be their contribution. I think apart from that, it's, yeah, just straight public control is the Union of France. We still in, still in against the Entente? We are. Well, why do we get a separate piece with the, uh, the French national state? That's odd. That's odd. Ooh, big CSA victory. Fantastic. I was kind of worried about some sort of, uh, kind of reactionary new world with but then again, we're kind of getting that. We'll, we'll get, yeah, we'll have the same. We'll have South America bashing of reactionism. Eurasia too, actually. Let's have a look at those factions again. Nice. What are we missing?
Philippines, give me more. I'll just get it from the Russians. It's fine. Our trade routes have been secured long ago. Mm, that's a nice third international right there. Lovely. There's still quite the Entente presence in Africa, though. Ah, you pussy, you released Algeria. Now we're back down here. That's fantastic. So let's come down to uh, Paris. Maybe we'll have a little victory parade there. Now the second Fenian Ram. 200% research bonuses for submarine models. In 1881, Irish inventor John Philip Holland created a submarine known as the Holland Boat No. 2, nicknamed the Fenian Ram for the Irish Republican Brotherhood. Now we must follow in their footsteps and build a submarine fleet of our own to defend us ourselves against the British oh, Navy. Now we have those bonuses. Advanced submarine warfare and combined operations rating. Atvia. Is, is that is that Corellis? It is. Polish and Tamarian. Very nice faction over here. I think our, our Entente allies have got this fairly wrapped up. I don't think we need to come down here. Four point nine five. That's not taking in the French national states casualties, though. Huge casualties. I mean, Three hundred forty-six thousand for Austria, Austrasian Confederation. I mean, for God's sakes, what they took at Gallipoli in our own timeline was enough to create like a national identity. Three hundred forty-six thousand, sweet mother of God. But Canada is actually experiencing capitulation progress. Is that from? No. Okay, I was thinking maybe the British would use the. Uh, I'd use Greenland as a springboard. No, that's just the uh, PSA. That's fine. Who's leading uh, Alaska? Oh, yes, it's, it's Liechtenstein, Alaska. That's fine. That's always cool to see. Well, it's not cool, more like interesting. I wouldn't want it to happen in real life. Oh, you gave that back, of course, of course. No, you're, you're going to give this to Italy for their contributions. Because uh, great, Greater Italy really won't be happening here in the east and also won't be happening here in the west. At least, yeah, they got Ticino, they got Corsica. They get Malta. They'll get a slight Greater Italy. Very, very slight. Of course, they do have uh, Trieste and a bit of territory here in the east, but not a whole lot. More casualties. What have you got left on top? What is there? Where are you in this world? Horrendous casualties. Brazil's nearly gone. Malta, yeah, Malta's always a pain in the ass. They always go crusader and they always end up being... They always end up surviving. 350,000 Afghanis, 452,000 Indians. Oh, look at these casualties, man. Insane. All right, where should we go next? This is, yeah, this is completely wrapped up. Cairo Axis War, maybe? Secure North Africa? Can't really get down here. Maybe a campaign to liberate Africa? That could be interesting. Or a what? Apartheid administration of, uh, of Deutsch Middle Africa, yeah. Who are you at war with? Japanese faction. Okay. Yeah, you've got a war with that. Is all of that your puppet? Or just you? Damn. That is a lot. I think we need to do something about that, yeah. I'm afraid the rest of the. Wow, you're actually nearly fucking uh, veterans. That's crazy. Yes, sir. Come all the way down here to Gibraltar. That's the closest crossing point. I actually weren't in Paris yet, I don't think. Were you? Not too sure. 
moves so quickly, lad. Second defeat in Ram, fantastic. Irish Scouts haven't done that yet, whoops. Add organized youth, which grants recruitment population factor 1%, training time minus 2.5%. Young Irish boys and girls often find themselves with very little to do in our society and have often been left to their own devices as their parents work long toils in our factories and businesses. We could follow the example of the Americans with their Boy Scouts and create an organization of our own, instilling our youth with an understanding for Irish culture and honorable values. We'll pop a quick save just before we cross over here. Uh, there shouldn't be anything here because we've completely got it locked down. Or at least we have one of the entrances locked down. So we'll... Uh Actually, yeah, we'll go over here, because that's just one, one tile. It's not too bad. Fantastic. Yeah, I think it's uh, time to liberate Africa. Ready. European rule has returned with a red coat of paint. Swear to God, this Irish first tank army is just going around starting wars. With the Dutch, the Danes, others, just going around just instigating wars. We're kind of like the Imperial Japanese Army in Manchuria, where we just don't give a fuck what the government says. We just start whatever wars we want. But all right, lads, I think I'm going to leave it here. That's a good place to leave. We've got a lot done in this. We started in September 42. We're already in February of 44. Knocked out the Reichs Pact. The Entente is absolutely crumbling. It, is, it still exists as a faction, not for long, I don't think. I think, yeah, we're going to go for big North Africa. I, honestly, just go for total total African domination, to be completely honest. Just push down, just wreck every one of these tanks. It'll, uh, it'll be interesting to see how they perform in jungles. But alright, lads, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing, as well as commenting down below. I shall see you in the comments section of this video, and I shall see you in the next video. But until then, goodbye.